Yo, what up YouTube? I'm here to give you a quick tutorial on how to do a really easy logo for your channel, game battle scene, whatever. This is a, kind of something how it's going to look like. This is the logo I made for Days Gaming HQ. You might want to check them out. They'll be in the description. Alright, let's get started. First, you want to open up Photoshop and then go to File, New. I like to have the dimensions by a thousand, a thousand pixels by a thousand pixels you know it gives you enough work room and then from there once you get that really decent size you can pretty much use that logo anywhere without having to without having the quality fail alright first of all you want to unlock your background I just like to have it there I like to delete my background before I start transparent alright first thing you want to do is have the text you want with the font that you want to let this thing load up so for this text I'm going to use my name Nestor I'm going to enlarge it that way you know pretty much enlarge it to how big you're going to want it I like to center it right there and I'm going to try new text new font right here that I got I think I'll be using Bank Gothic yeah I like this font right here Okay, you might want to bold it that way it makes it look a little bit more nicer okay once you once you got your text have like a color that way you can know it stands out and then I'm gonna pick red for my logo because I like red you can either you could you could pick anything when you're doing your logo but I like to have the rounded edge rectangle because it looks really nice a little bit more professional look and what you want to do is start it a little bit up but not exactly where it starts you want to start a little bit in front of it and end it a little bit in front of it also you don't want to be covering the whole thing because it won't give you the nice effect I'm trying to get right here that's good right there first thing you want to do is put the text layer on top use your select tool your magic wand tool not the quick selection magic wand just selects everything you want to select the part the first letter and then first you want to rest re rasterize the layer right here that way you can edit it and once you select the first letter on the text layer, go to your shape layer and delete. And then go back to your text layer and select the last letter. And then go back to your shape layer and delete. And it leaves you with something looking like this. Looks pretty nice right there. And then what what you want to do is cop um, duplicate this shape layer. And when you duplicate it, make sure you have the top one selected. But first go to your text right click and go to select pixels and then you go to shape the first the copy shape layer or whichever one's on top and you go to delete and once you've done that you can pretty much delete the text layer you have this right here it doesn't look that good right now but you have to double click go to bevel and emboss that looks good right there you want to might want to do a pillow emboss out or in let's do let's just go back to inner bevel looks a little nice and then um, have a gradient selected on it go to gradient uh, you might want to have reflected and I like to use this one right here and once you have that uh, yeah once you have that you just click OK oh you might want to struck it a little bit too not too much I'll have it like at 2 right there at 2 once you have that, you go to the second layer. First of all, color a different color. You want the inside layers to inside letters to stand out. So I'm gonna be using a little nice light shade of gray. And just color it. You have that right there. And to give it this really nice look, um, go to pattern overlay. And I have this one pre-made right here. It gives it a little diagonal line look. It looks really nice right there. And just click OK. So once you get that little nice look right there, you might want to, you will make a new layer. That will be your little sh uh, light, lighting air. And you want to go to your pen tool, just outside of it, click, and then bring it down a little bit, bring it up a little bit, and then bring it back down, and just click around it, close it. And then you're going to want to fill path with the color white, 
and just click OK. Once you have done that, you go to your first layer, I mean your second layer, you go right click, go to select pixels again, then you go to select, inverse, and then you just go back to the layer of the white and delete. Delete, there it goes. And you see right right there, but if you go to opacity and bring it down a little bit to like about 50, 40%, I'm gonna put it at 42. You give it that little nice little glare right there. And then once you've done that, you go back to your first, you make another layer. This is this is just a customizer, you can do this whatever you want. I'm just right now gonna use paint splatters. You go to the first layer, go to select pixels, that way you don't color anything that's not in the first layer, you don't color the S ESTO part or anything. Back to your paintbrush. I like I have this paint splatter brushes over here at the top. I like to use these because it makes it look like a little bit more of a graffiti look. Right here. I'm gonna use this one real quick. The splatter, splatter. Well, my bad. Make sure you have the layer two selected because you don't want to mess anything up. Just splatter on it. Make sure you have really nice splatter tools. You don't want to select anything that's too big that you won't even notice. Okay, once you have that, you can just unselect. And then I like I have this preset style right here that makes it gives like a little glow look. And I like to put the color black. You know, gives that little standout look like that. But um you really don't have to do exactly like that. Me normally I would not have that selected. I would really just go to I would just have selected a uh, color overlay. And then once I go to color over, not even color, I would like to use a gradient. Gradient gives like a little nice like style. You might not be able to notice it right away, but you will notice it eventually. And I'm gonna use this gray to dark gray to light gray one. Go to ref I like to have reflected inverse like that. And then the stroke, it was, it's optional. The stroke makes it look nice, like it's in the thing. But if you don't want it on, it makes it also look like a little rough. But any look is good. It's all up to you because it's your logo. And that's pretty much it. You have it right there. Nice little logo. You can use it on whatever you want. All right, that, that's about it for this tutorial. If you want any more tutorials, like I said, my channel is not as active as I would like it to be. But I have spare time right now. Any tutorials you guys want to see, anything you want me to make, speed edits or whatever, just hit me up and I'll put videos up as soon as I can. Alright, thanks.